white light is used in Young's double slit experiment. If white light is used in Young's double slit experiment, in Young's double slit experiment, then what will be the change? Then what will be the change? What will be what will be the nature of interference pattern? If white light is used in Young's double slit experiment, what will be the nature of interference pattern? In the diagram S1 and S2, we the two coherent sources and uh, we can consider the two light waves. Uh, that means white light from the two coherent sources S1 and S2 are coming and they superimpose one another at the point O, at the point O. O is the opposite point of midpoint between the two coherent sources S1 and S2. White, two white light uh, from coherent sources S1 is to superimpose at the point O on the screen and at the point O central white fringe is formed. At the point O central white fringe is formed. Now wavelength of violet light is 4000 angstrom and wavelength of red light is 8000 angstrom. That means wavelength of violet light is less than the wavelength of red light. That's why the distance of nth uh, violet fringe will be less than the distance of nth red fringe. As uh, we know the distance of nth bright fringe from central bright fringe as is uh, 2n lambda by 2 d by d. Capital D is the screen distance from the two coherent sources S1, S2. Small d is the slit separation or intermediate distance between the two slits S1 and S2. S1 and S2. With respect to the central white fringe, nearest fringe will be violet fringe. Uh, on both sides of the central white fringe, uh, colored fringes will be formed, nearest fringe will be violet fringe and uh, red fringe will be formed at uh, the greatest distance from the central white fringe. And also the farthest fringe is red fringe and farthest fringe is red fringe and that red fringe, red colored fringe will be widest and violet fringe will be narrowest. This is a red colored fringe uh, which will be formed at the largest distance from the central white fringe and violet fringe will be narrowest and that will be formed at the nearest uh, distance from the central bright fringe, central white fringe. That means if white light is used in Young's double slit experiment, then there will be colored fringes and different colored fringes will be formed on both sides of the central white fringe. Nearest fringe will be violet fringe and uh, uh, farthest fringe will be red fringe and violet fringe will have uh, smallest width and red fringe will be widest. On both sides with respect to central white fringe, colored fringes will be formed. This is a red fringe or red colored fringe. Red fringe will be formed at the largest distance from the central white fringe on the screen. On the screen. If the two sources of light under bracket S1, S2, if the two sources of light under bracket S1, S2 give white light, give white light under bracket polychromatic light. If the two sources give white light that is polychromatic light comma consisting of consisting of a number of wavelengths or colors number of wavelengths under bracket colors comma then then the light of light of each wavelength light wave of each wavelength give rise to gives rise to its own set of interference fringes 
then the light of each wavelength gives rise to its own set of interference fringes full stop since the fringe width since the fringe width under bracket uh, beta is equal lambda d by d since the fringe width under bracket beta is equal to lambda d by d or the distance of nth bright fringe the, the distance of nth bright fringe under bracket yn equal to n lambda by 2 d by d is different is different for different is different from this different wavelengths the distance of nth bright fringe is different for different wavelengths comma overlapping of overlapping of fringes overlapping of fringes occurs resulting overlapping of fringes occurs comma resulting resulting in a few colored fringes only near the white only near the central white fringe uh, resulting in a few colored fringes only near central white fringe as the wavelength of red light is greater than the wavelength of violet light that, that's why the distance of red fringe is greater than the distance of violet fringe from the central white fringe from the central white fringe or central right fringe in the diagram yr is the distance of red fringe from central white fringe and uh, yv is the distance of violet fringe from central white fringe here we can denote the distance of violet fringe from central white fringe yv is the distance of violet fringe from central white fringe or from the center of white fringe now uh, what we can write as the distance of red fringe is greater than the distance of violet fringe that's why the red fringe that's why we can say that the red fringe will be red fringe will be formed red fringe will be formed at the farthest position or farthest distance from the central white fringe red fringe will be formed uh, will be formed at the farthest position and violet fringe will be at the closest or nearest position with respect to central white fringe violet fringe will be at the nearest uh, will be the nearest fringe from the central white fringe central white fringe central white fringe also also as the fringe width as the fringe width under bracket beta equal to lambda d by d fringe width uh, under bracket beta equal lambda d by d is directly proportional to the wavelength of light is directly proportional to the wavelength of light wavelength of light or wavelength lambda of uh, the light wave and Lambda R is greater than lambda V means wavelength of red light is greater than the wavelength of violet lights then and that's why so the red fringe is widest and violet fringe is narrowest violet fringe is narrowest or we the violet fringe is smallest violet fringe will be narrowest now in the diagram violet fringe in the diagram violet fringe is uh, the nearest and narrowest fringe with respect to central white fringe violet fringe is the closest and narrowest fringe from uh, the central white fringe from the central white fringe with respect to the central white fringe central white fringe and also we can uh, describe the red fringe here uh, it should be central white fringe it should be central white fringe not central bright fringe and in the diagram red fringe what about the red fringe uh, red fringe will be farthest uh, fringe and widest red fringe will be the widest and farthest uh, uh, will be the widest and will be formed at the furthest position from the central white fringe 
will be uh, that means red fringe is widest and farthest with respect to the central white fringe with respect to the central white fringe 